In this video, we're going to focus on the Hoover Grab mouse cursor in ChartJS track data plugin. And this is part four. And let me be very clear this is not really an official feature of the track data plugin. However, you can imagine like this here. For example, when I hover over this element here, you will not know if this is draggable, yes or no. Because let's be honest, if I only drag it and click, at that moment, I figure out it is draggable. So what we want to do now is to make it intuitive, meaning it should uh, show a cursor that we have an ability to grab here. So let's start to do that one. So let's scroll down here. And then what I'm going to do is here, here below, we're going to start to create an independent function. Again, this is not from the plugin itself, but it makes just sense to have that one in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a function where we have the cursor showing that we can grab this. So I'm going to do here, and then in here, what I'm going to say is the following. Let's put in some additional enters here to so have some space. There we are, that's a bit more comfortable. And then in here, what I'm going to do is the first thing is I'm going to create a function, and this function I will call mouse move handler. And what I want to do is that basically when we're hovering on the element here, this specific element or that one or any one of these, that moment, the cursor of the mouse should become a grab cursor. So it's not the grabbing, which is, you can see here the hand is now grabbing because it would mean that the uh, hand is like, like a fist. But if I let go and then I hover over this, I want to see like a hand that is open instead of closed. So let's start to do this. So we have this mouse move here and remember, when we're on a canvas, I'm not really playing with mouse move, but I'm playing with, uh, oh sorry, I'm playing with mouse move, and it's, you might say it's a hoover effect, because I'm hovering on this element here, but it's not the hoover, but it's a mouse move if you are within certain coordinates. So what I'm going to do here now is, I'm going to say console log, and then here I'll say event, or maybe even mouse move, let's grab this, put it in here, and then what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to start to make this function working. So I'm going to say here, my chart. I'm going to grab this basically, and then specifically, because this is an object which is called the chart object in chart.js, I want specifically the canvas, which is basically the ID itself. Grab on the ID that if we are mouse moving, or moving our mouse or cursor within a defined area, in this case, the defined area would be within this here, this is the reason why we're not hovering on the canvas because if you would hover, this here is already considered a hover on the canvas because the canvas here is this rectangle. So we want to be in here, but this is just a mouse move within X and Y coordinates. So then luckily, ChartJS has a built-in feature, so we don't have to pinpoint and specify them on our own. So we're going to say my chart canvas. We're going to say add event listener. We're going to create an event listener. And this listener is called a mouse move, comma, and I'm going to define this as an E for the event. And then here, a function arrow expression. And in here, what I want to do is that if we are mouse moving, I want to trigger this specific function. And this function will eventually send two parameters in here. We have only one, but I'm going to put in here another one here. I'm going to say chart. But to do this, the mouse move here is the variable of e, so I'm going to say e, comma, and what is the chart? I'll just grab this one here, which is the entire chart object, not only the canvas. So once I did this, if I save this now, refresh, open up the developer tab, you can see if I move now, there you are. You can see here it's being moved, it recognizes it as a move, but now of course what I want to do is to convert it specifically on this element, or so when we are on this element, at that moment we want to change the cursor. So, to do that, I'm going to use a built-in functionality in ChartJS that we can use, which is the following. Let's say constant here. And I'm going to say cursor position. And then we say equal to, basically, my chart, but we have this uh, parameter here, which refers to this argument. So we say a chart dot. And I'm going to say get. And this is a built-in functionality from ChartJS. Elements at event for mode so basically we want to get the element and the element is referring to these bars here in this case if you have a line chart it will be a line chart of course so or the uh, the radius points in the line chart so then we're going to say here for mode 
So we're going to grab here this mouse move again. And let's comment that, this out. And then we're going to say here, comma, this will be triggered on the nearest, meaning the nearest item. So if we are here, the nearest data point or index would be this, this green one here on Thursday. So we say nearest. And I say comma, and I'm going to say it will be triggered as well on intersect. So intersect, let's put it on true, would indicate the following. Intersect is basically like a crossing. So basically when my mouse crosses this imaginary borderline here of this object, then the tooltip triggers. But of course, in that case, I also want to change the cursor that we have. So we have this on true, and there's a comma here as well, true. Once we have this, we can say here now the following. I'm going to say here console.log and let's grab here the cursor position. Or basically, we can say cursor and be anything that you want. Save that, refresh. If I hover over it, as you can see here, it triggers, but there's no length here because there is no object. But if I hover over this purple one here, as you can see here now, it shows, and when I move away from it, it recognizes we're moving away from it. And you can see here immediately, it gets the data set index, it gets the element with the coordinates, it gets everything what we really need to know. And here the index of four, it shows everything. However, what I want to do is I want to only trigger it when we are hovering, and if we're not hovering on, or if you hover on a white space, it shouldn't be triggered. So I'm going to say here, if statement, if cursor position, oh, cursor position, and then we say index zero. So if there will be at least one index of zero, in that case, console log. So that will mean that there will be at least one element in here or one index. So the length will be equal to one, like this. You see here on because we get the index of zero. So if I refresh now, move over the white space, nothing shows. Move over this one or that one or any other object, it shows here nicely. So now what I want to do is I want to convert this one, and of course. Same event here, we can probably use this again. So what we can say here is the following. But now, of course, instead of this event target cursor, let's copy this, put it in there. I want to say here, mouse move, because now the event is here registered as a mouse move value. So we say here, mouse move, target style cursor, and then we can say here, grab. Save this, refresh. Now, as you can see here, there we are. And if I grab it, go up and down, you can see it does nicely change there we are we go here however there's of course still an issue here it doesn't reset it back so let's do that one as well then we can say here an else if else statement if else then we're going to say here cursor will be again back to default put it on default remove this console log save refresh and then there we are going to drag this all right and then if i go up here there there you are. As you can see here, it is hiding it nicely. And that's basically the way how you can undo the cursor as well and make it a grabbing or grab cursor and of course removing it again back to or reset it back to original.